All right, today is Sunday, um, June 12th, 2022. It is day 125 of Blender. And today I'm going to, again, focus on geometry nodes. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just experimenting um, because it's new to me, right? I haven't tried it before. Um, well, recently, until recently, right? Um, I also, if you haven't noticed, I downloaded Blender 3.2. I'm so excited. There are so many things like the paintbrush and sculpt mode. There's also the hair. It's just so exciting. Actually, hold on. Let me search something up. Is the hair? Because I know that it was, um, um, I'm pretty sure it's hair blender. That's not how you spell blender. Blender 3.2. I'm sure. I know that there was a beta out. New hair system, yeah, 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 yeah. This hair system is coming out. I mean, it's not coming out. It's already out with 3.2. So I'm really excited to explore all those things. But again, for now, I'm going to focus on geometry nodes. So um, I have this little thingy, cube. Wow, I forget the name of shapes. And I'm going to go over here, geometry nodes. And if you can't find it, you can just click on this add and then try to find geometry nodes somewhere in here. All right. I'm just going to move this to the left. And I'm going to click on new. Um, and so, yeah. So again, we have input, we have output. Um, input, right? If I go into edit mode, well, let me do something. Input is what you see in edit mode. Output is what ha what is what you see. In, I can't even speak. It's what you see in the viewport after all of the nodes are applied. Um, not necessarily applied, because I don't want to use the word applied, because that means something different in Blender. But I guess when all the nodes are... Um, are used like after the nodes right um so i'll show you so i'll do add and i'll do like um a transform so this is a node that allows you to move it move the mesh um to wherever you want it and so if i go into edit mode this right what's highlighted is the input what's highlighted in orange is the input which is this and then the output right is what you see in the 3d viewport after the node is trans um is um calculated right or is where under what the heck i can't speak after the node is calculated, after the transform node is calculated, this is the output after all of that, right? Um, and again, I just told it to move a little bit on the x-axis, which is the red axis. All right, um, so that's one thing. I'm going to click X to delete that. Um, I've been trying to explore shapes. So I know that they're, hold on, let me, geometry, um, curve primitives. Is there mesh primitives? Here we go. So I've been trying to explore the mesh primitives, um, which is basically like um, just shapes where you can um, just have them, I guess. So if you go into layout mode, right, and you do shift A and you go to mesh, you see that these are the shapes that are available to you. Like we have a torus, right, which Sean Blender Guru uses to make a donut. Shift A, we have um, a cube, which is what we have like it by default. Shift A, we can have a plane. Um, shift A UV sphere right which is different than shift A circle um, so we have all those shapes but I find it interesting that in geometry nodes I can have a line I think I saw a mesh line somewhere what's going on here oh I deleted my oops let's do shift A cube and go back to geometry nodes click on new um, I'm trying to see where's my stuff oh it's over here I was like zoomed out all right, so, um, but if I don't want to use this, I could just delete it, and then I can add and go to mesh primitives, which is like, same thing as shift A, I guess, and there's a mesh line, which I think is pretty cool, and if I select, if I just connect this mesh to the geometry, I'll see an actual mesh line over here. This is the mesh line, which I think is pretty cool. I've never seen a line. I wonder why they don't make this a shape in, um, in like um you know just by default in blender and layout mode because i feel like i've been i've been personally like needing lines um i've made them before by using planes and just like scaling them but this is really cool um right so this is a new one right a mesh line and so note that blender makes it easy for us to kind of understand where things go and where we have to connect things to so green with green right and then blue to whatever blue um green with green we want we can just use the actual this is not going to work because this is a different when it's red means it's not going to work so the reason this is not going to work is because you can't turn the cube into a line you can just have a line and then do whatever you want but you can't turn a cube into a different shape that's what this is for essentially just to have it there um you go to edit mode you can still see the cube though because that's the input 
All right, um, so that's the mesh line. Let's kind of explore what it does. So we can kind of say, okay, it could start over here more to the right if we kind of move that X, um, move it to the Y and then Z up and down, like start location um, and then offset, which I think is pretty cool. Wow, that's really nice. So I guess this kind of controls like the rotation of it looks like, um, which is pretty cool. Um, I know that there's a thing called value. If I select, interesting, but if I put it here, it's not going to, whoa. Let's put it here and I set it at zero. But if I set these to zero, hold on. Let me do shift D, duplicate, put one value here, one value here. Where is the line? Right here, right? Hmm. I don't think the line is there. Oh, because it doesn't, all right, doesn't work because the value needs to be something like count. What does count do? Oh, count is the length of it. Interesting. So I can set the value to this. Oh, that's why I wasn't five, right? Interesting. But if I want all of these to have the same values in the offset, I can change it to three. Oh, that's why, because it was zero. Okay, that makes sense. Um, that's really good, actually. So value is used to, like, let's say you want these to all have the same values then I can just do shift D and then set that to start location and then just control the value and say like, okay, I want you to all start at eight, right? So start at the Y axis eight. So like um, over here, start, where's my pen? So I could start from the Y axis, right? I could start here at eight. That's ugly, eight. Um, on the Z axis, right? So up and down, up and down, I can start here at eight because this is zero, right? So I'll start at eight which just starts here at eight. And then I can also end, um, not end, excuse me. And then on the X axis, which is, um, how do I delete this? Okay. And then on the X axis, which is the red axis, you know, it starts here. Well, this is eight, right? And this is zero, right? And then these would be like negative eight, whatever. So you can see that it starts at eight, starts at eight here. And also on the Z axis, like up and down, it starts at eight. Right, so that's what I mean when I say value eight. Um, let's see, I'm just exploring here. So, or experimenting. I keep saying exploring instead of experimenting. Whatever. Anyway, um, yeah. So that's what you want to do when you want to basically have or control these um, in a better way or in a, like a quicker way. So we'll do a value, right, and then just change the value. Offset. Have it be three. Start location. Want to start it at eight. We could also start at zero, right? Which is the origin. Um, let's see, and then the uh, the count. So I'm assuming the count is um, the length of it, right? So if I want like a length of two, it's going to be a shorter line, etc. And maybe I want the value of the offset to be one. But you know what I find weird? Oh, on the Z, I want it to be zero. Oh, there we go. I see it. It's like right here. And it disappears. There we go. So on the Z, I want it to be one. I want it to be up. And so it would mess up if I had it um, like that everywhere, right? So I don't think it's good to set value here for offset. So I'll just delete this by clicking X. Um, and then turns out you can kind of like do a drop down to make your code look a little bit nicer. Oh my god, this is really pretty. Okay, um, let's see what else there is to it. So I'll add, um, where could I find this value? Utilities, um, that's not there. Texture, is there more? Layout, group, volume, vector, utilities. I have random value. Texture, text. Point, output, mesh primitive, and that's not there, mesh, that's not going to be there. Material, instance, input, 
there we go so it's under input okay so under input we see that also what does offset do what's the difference between endpoints and offset and like resolution and like what is this what is all this um uh, interesting so this is offset and then endpoints by count is where it ends and it would stay like that question mark and then it would end that doesn't make sense endpoints mesh line let's search it up let's google it um mesh line and that's not how you spell line um geometry nodes what am i searching up again geometry nodes um endpoints like what does it mean what does it mean what does it mean isn't that a never mind um all right nope that's not it mesh line node so mesh line node the mesh line node generates vertices in a line and connects them with edges makes sense count is the number of vertices on the line which makes sense because it increases the length so the amount of vertices that you have you can think of them as dots right like vertices are dots um the amount of vertices on the line right the more of them the greater the length of the line because there's more dots resolution is the length of individual edges so the node tries to fit as many vertices as possible between the start and end point the exact end point might not be hit this is only available when the mode is set to endpoints and the count mode is set to resolution oh interesting so all right so problem with offset is that you i might have i might want a line right and you know what so i don't see it then endpoints i want it to be um, there we go all right so apparently this line is made up of multiple 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 vertices this is just with um right right which makes up the line right but this is just with having it as offset and the count we're saying okay have the count of the vertices be two but does that make sense to you so it's not like there's two vertices but then if i go to the resolution maybe because that's a really long line I go into layout and I click on this and maybe I can go to front view and then maybe I can measure so I'll start here I'll go to vertex which is corner turn on snapping right there right there one meter right so let me see well let me do 12 inches if I want to go let's say I want to make a size of a ruler so I'll go here into the uh, location so I'll start not zero scale okay I'll have that as zero um, so maybe not that you can't scale it, which is weird. Oh, you can. So you can scale it on the Z. So let's say I want 12. Is there any way I can change? Ugh. It's in meters, isn't it? But can I have it be, um... No. How do I change the, um... How to change units of measurements in Blender. You can change the active blah, 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 properties, scenes, units. Okay. Where do I go again? Properties. No. 
man. Where do I go? Properties, scenes, units. Their pictures, because I can't see anything. Oh. Oh, on the end panel. I call it the end panel. Um, I don't see properties here. Tools, view, collections, annotations, 3D cursor, item. I don't see properties here. Tools. Hmm. What if I go to files, not files, edit preferences. Editing, lights, viewport. Um, themes? Nope. How do I change it? Seems you. Ugh, whatever. 12 inches in meters. Because they're in the metric system. 0.34 whatever okay so if I go back here all right so essentially if I want to make a ruler right I'll go to the um I'll just put this here can I not layout where's layout I am in layout okay object data properties and to hide that all right if I increase this where is my line I can't even see it oh oops Interesting. Oh, I was doing the camera. Whoops. Okay, paste that and then it should become smaller. So this right now is the size of a real life ruler. Like, because, you know, a ruler is 12 inches. So, um, in meters, that's 0 0.305 meters. And so this is the size of a real life ruler. So I just wanted to give you context into like the real world application. Now, why did I do this? I completely forgot. I don't even know why I'm doing this again. Like, what was the point? I know there was a point in doing this. Huh. Oh, yeah, to kind of explain. Right, so, okay. So, it says that in geometry nodes, right? Um, let me exit this out. Alright, um, front view. So, this is the line in yellow, right? This is an actual ruler, the size of a ruler, right? 12 inches or, like, 0 0.305 meters or whatever. Um... So, it says that this line is essentially made up of multiple vertices, right? So, points that make up the line, right? Just like in geometry, right? Line, points make up lines. Um, but it says, though, that it just doesn't make sense to me that, the, that why would it be two? Because it's not, so it's not the, because it can't be like two points, right? Because that doesn't make sense. So, what? What is the counting? If I do one, if I do two, like what in the world is accounting? And then as I do this, it becomes, right, larger. Wait, this is affected by the count. So I don't think that's the size of a real life ruler. Because zero is zero. If I do this, it changes. Interesting. So scaling it on the z-axis is not actually giving it the size. So maybe this is not the size of a real life ruler. I don't even know at this point. Um, I could do the same with another thing. I'll do shift A and then do a cube. And then I'll go to object data properties and give it the same size. Not on the z. Actually on the side, yeah. So this is essentially... Um, like this edge over here, like this edge, right? This edge is the size of a real life ruler, which is not the same size. Actually, let me just, hold on. Let me look at it from front view. Right view? Left view? 
Is it the same size? Let me move it. Um, see, there we go. See, there we go. Right. So, it's not the same size. So, yeah. Right. It's not the same size because this is the size of a real life ruler. Like this. Um, if I go into edit mode, this edge here, one the one that I have highlighted right right now. Look, one, two, three. Right. This edge is the size of a real life ruler. And this line I said was the size of a real life ruler because I went to object data properties and I set the scale to be the same, but here's the problem. Because I'm in geometry nodes and the count is what determines the length of that line, the scale, setting the scale to the size of a ruler is not going to actually do anything because this ultimately is setting the scale or the size or the length of the actual line. So the idea was that it where, where what do these numbers really mean like what are they counting like are they counting the number of dots or are they counting like what are they counting you know because it can't be the number of dots because there has to be like billions like millions of dots to make up a line right because it's like always continuous like even when you zoom in like here right it's made up of different different points but even if you zoom in like here between these two points these two points are made up of even different points here and then between and then between these points, there's more points. There's more points and more points and more points and more points and more points. But even if you zoom in through here, whoa, what did I do? Even if you zoom in through here, there's even more points and more points and more points and more points. And if you continue zooming in, there's more points and more points. So it just doesn't make sense. Like, what is the two? Like, what I when I put this as a two, right, to be the count, what is it actually counting? Like, it must be like a like a measurement, like a unit of measurement, because it has to be representative of some kind of number, because I don't even know. Like, what is it actually counting? Like, how am I supposed to know? Like, let's say I want it to be, like, yeah, like I said, like 12 inches, the size of a ruler. What number do I put here? Like, what conversion do I do? You know what I mean? Because this right now, the size of this edge here is 12 inches. It's 0 0.305 meters, right? Because that's what it is in Blender. Unless I'm... Right, like, I don't know. Um, I don't know. So, yeah. So, I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know, actually. So, it could be the same thing, but two is the same thing. Let me go to layout and delete. First of all, let me go to notes and delete all the notes. And then go back here. X, delete. And then we just have our little line over here. Call this my line. Um, geometry nodes up here. So we have our little line. Um, yeah, like I don't even... Um, let's see. Mm. So I have the value. Oh, I don't even know what to say right now. I have the value the same thing as setting it to two but like the count is two but what does that mean though what does it mean and then the start location let me just remove it so i obviously want to start at zero here so it's down right it starts at zero um but it starts like a little bit to the right on the x a little bit there if i set the, this to zero and set this to zero it'll completely start at the origin the offset though um why does this have to be one in order for it to show up Set to zero, it disappears. So from the Z, 0 0.5, you can see a little bit of it. Um, but what does the offset mean? So offset controls the direction of the line and distance between the vertices. This is only available when the mode is set to offset. Controls the direction of the line and the distance between the vertices. So on the Z, do that. The direction of the line 
and the distance between whoa, the vertices. So if I were to put this down, ah, interesting. So I can see the relationship here. So look, um, so offset controls the direction of the line and also controls the distance between the vertices. So if I have a count of vertices of 104, that doesn't make sense. So is this like infinitely small? So, oh my God. So when I say two, does that mean I really just have two vertices? That's crazy. All right, but here's the thing. So if I have the set, okay, so I'm assuming number of vertices. Wow, so it is the number of vertices on the line. That's insane. That's crazy. Wow, so it's like just two dots? Is that it? So it must be two big dots because like, what is this? I don't know. It just like intuitively doesn't make sense. I guess like we're in a very zoomed in level here. Um, okay, so it's a number of dots, I'm going to say, in this line, which makes sense because if you're like you can see it here. Yeah, that actually does make sense because I was zoomed in, actually. Um, yeah, I actually was zoomed in a lot. I'm between the four squares here, so yeah, it makes sense for it to be two dots, like, from up here. Yeah, okay, makes sense. All right, so this is the number of vertices. So here's the thing. Offset is the, um, controls the distance between the vertices and also the direction of the line. And so what that means is I could have two, right, two, um, vertices, but if I increase the offset of the z-axis, it becomes bigger, right? Because yes, I have two vertices still, but the distance between those two vertices becomes bigger as I increase the offset, right? So now this dot is actually all the way over here and the distance becomes bigger because I increase the offset of the z-axis. Um, so I would assume that it would be the same thing for like the y if it were to be like um, rotated. Um, yeah, so zero, zero. All right, so that's interesting. So, great. So, like, if I increase the amount of vertices, though, so, like, let's say 181, but I set the um, distance between each vertice to be very, very low, you'll see the line decrease. So, like, let's say 0 0.05. You'll see the line decrease, right? Versus if the distance between each point was, like, 9, right? Then you'll see it's, be it's a lot, right? Um, versus it being like 0 0.05. So that's really, that's the relationship between um, count and offset. But I'm trying to figure out like why, what would be a reason for us to kind of work with these two things? Like why would I need to have distance between my vertices? Interesting. I don't know. Maybe we'll, di we'll, we'll find out one day. Um, and then the start location is basically where you start in the x-axis. Um, not in the x-axis, in all the axes. So you could start here. I just, I went over that in the beginning. Um, you could also start on the y. I'm just wondering why it's not moving. <laughs> Interesting. No, because it's not a move. It's where you start. All right. Um, and then the count is the number of vertices. Okay, got that. So I think we're good on this. Um, and then endpoints. Let me go to note, exit out. So endpoint, if I set it to resolution, let me see what it means. So resolution is the length of the individual edges. So the node tries to fit as many vertices as possible between the start and endpoint. Um, the exact endpoint might not be hit. This is only available when the mode is set to endpoints and the count mode is set to resolution. Interesting. So the exact endpoint might not be hit. This is only available when the mode is set to endpoints and it tries to fit as many vertices as possible between the start and the endpoint. The exact endpoint might not be hit. Length of individual edges as many vertices as possible between the start and point exact and point might not be hit. Huh? Hmm. 
interesting. So it starts, I'm telling it, whoa, hold on, offset, start location, 2.2. So I'm telling it to start here at 2.2. But that doesn't make sense, because if I go to endpoints, oh, oh, that does make sense, right? I'm still telling it to start here at 2.2, but I'm telling it to end at, let's say, 0, right? Which makes sense, which is over here. So start here, not me writing with the mouse when I have a tablet to write, like what? And then end. All right, it's not, that looks so bad. All right, so you start at 2.2 and at zero, and then the resolution, I'm assuming, is the length of the individual edges. So instead of count, it's just the length so that it hits that mark. That makes, oh, that's actually crazy. If I set it to one, it's 1.4, 0 0.8, 0.1. Oh, that's 100%. It goes by decimals. Oh, that makes sense. And zero is, oh, the length of the edge. And if I set it to one, it'll just not disappear. Zero. So I'm trying to see. So we can control either the length of the line and try to fit as many vertices in between this to make up that line or we can control um the actual amount of vertices so with offset we control the actual amount of vertices that there are so i could say two right and there'll be um two vertices and then we can start but that's end up hold on So if I have endpoints and I set the count, it's still two. Right, so I think the whole thing is that with count, I can specify the amount of vertices that I want. So like two, right? But the amount of vertices that I want might not actually reach my endpoint. It might exceed my endpoint or it might not reach my endpoint, which is 2.2. So in order to fix that, if I ever have a situation in which I need a line that reaches like a certain number, then I can set it to resolution and then kind of play around with it, question mark, instead of Oh, it's because I moved it. You're kidding me. Set to zero. I'm trying to figure this out. Huh. Let's see. Generates vertices in a line and connects them with edges generates vertices in a line and connects them with edges. Hmm. What to think about this? So if I have offset, you can barely see it. Increase the count, you can also barely see it, but that's because of Z. What? What happened now? All right, let me start again. So let me delete everything. What just happened? So let me go to my notes, exit out, go back to my little cube, shift A, mesh, cube, okay. Go to geometry nodes, click on new, scroll this down, scroll this up. All right, I don't wanna use that original mesh. I wanna go to add, I wanna go to mesh primitive, pri wow, mesh primitives, and I want to go to, uh, mesh line 
And why didn't it pop up? Should add mesh primitives, mesh line. All right, and then I'll select the mesh to be the geometry. All right, so right now we have a really, really, really big line. So the count, so the amount of vertices or the amount of dots in this line are 10, basically. So, whoa, we could actually see it. Hold on, you're kidding me right now. If I go into edit mode, I won't be able to see it though. Yeah, never mind. All right, so right now we have a line, a mesh line. It's set to offset. The count is 10, meaning we have 10 vertices. The start location, we're saying the start of the first vertex on the X axis, which is the red axis, is zero, right? Zero, zero, zero means it starts at the middle. And then the offset controls the direction of the distance between the points. So if I increase the offset of the Z axis, even though it's 10 vertices, it's still going to be 10 vertices as I increase it. It's just that the distance between each vertice is going to become a lot larger, as you can see. So there's still 10 vertices, it's just that the distance between each vertice becomes larger. So that's a point that's known already. Um, let's see, if I do X, it's going to, we can think of it as like rotations also. So I can rotate it negatively, right? Or positively, negatively, positively on the X axis. And if I also want to rotate it, I want it to be zero. And let's say I want to rotate it maybe kind of forward on the Y axis, right? I could do that also or backwards. I can do that also. So that's good. Um, so I could do that. I could also, um, let's see, I could also go to endpoints now. So offset is offset, but why are there two offsets? And then endpoints is something different. So I can either do count or resolution. So endpoints. Hmm. The mesh line node generates vertices in a line connects them with edges. The length of individual edges is the what the resolution controls. So I guess the count is not the length of the line, it's just the amount of vertices that are on the line. Right, because the length of the line in count right can be affected by the offset right in the z-axis right so it's not necessarily the length of the line it's the number of vertices in the line and then the endpoints the resolution actually um, results in the length of the line so if i do 0 0.305 and i zoom in here maybe if i increase it Ah, 0 0.305. That would be interesting. Let me go to layout mode real quick. Actually, let me do um, geometry nodes and go here. I don't want it to be um, to end. I want to end there. The end location is where it ends though. So I want it to end. So then 0 0.305. That doesn't make sense. What's the difference between this and this? So the resolution is the length of each individual edge. Is there only one edge or are there multiple edges? As I increase it, it disappears. Hmm. But then the Z axis, if the end location, whoa, whoa. So I'm saying start at zero on the Z axis, but then end at 0 0.305, which is meters, right? In offset mode, the distance between each socket, huh? What, it, what the heck? In offset mode, the distance between... Oh, in endpoints mode is the position of the final vertex. So I want it to be... Hmm. 
Nah, bro, what? The length of each individual edge, right? So if this is the edge, shouldn't it be the same, like the length? Right, so if I have a line, right? The length of the edge I can set with my resolution R. But the the Z over here in the end location, doesn't that tell me where to end here? But actually no, because I'm telling it to start at zero. Right, no, yeah. So this is my endpoint here. But doesn't that no doesn't that affect? Hmm, let me think. So endpoint. So I'm saying okay start at zero right and then end at zero point three zero five meters right um but then the resolution i'm saying which is the length of the edge where is it the width? What are they even talking about? I said it's a 0 0.305 also. But if I decrease 0 0.305. See? It doesn't make sense. Because if I have the length of the edge to be 0, nothing happens. But if I have the length of it to be 1.8 which is anything whoa 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 let's try 0 0.305 is that and then if i do anything larger than that let's see if anything happens six it disappears interesting okay so if i have zero if i set the z right to be 0 0.305 um the resolution like the length of the edge won't go above 0 0.305 and actually it will disappear which is very interesting wow that's actually crazy so priority is given to the end location so right so i have a line i want it to start at some point and i want it to end at some point um but oh wait these are not like it's not necessarily the start and end location of the line it's just the start and end location of whatever you want inside that line because it could end it could start here and end here but the actual line can end here right so that makes sense right so if i have it at 0 0.304 right it's actually ending here when the actual endpoint is over here. Interesting, because this is 0 0.304, right? That's the R, the actual um, length of the edge, which is the line. But this right here is actually 0 0.305, which is the... Um, the actual endpoint, right? But if I go anything above 0. Point, I could go 0. 0.305 and I'll reach that, but if I go anything above it, it will just disappear because it, it, it's respecting where I want it to end. That makes sense. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So I can do anything as long as it's under 0. 0.305. Can I do negative? Interesting. It actually won't even move if it's negative. It only moves from zero until it would do zero, zero point one, zero point two. Right? It can be anything short of that. So it could even be zero point two, right? So I guess you know what I'll do? I'll give it, um, like I'll do a better, actually let me do 0 0.304, and then just kind of take a screenshot of this because 
Okay, let me save that. Um, what's today? 12, 22 snippet, and I'll have that in pictures somewhere. I don't even know. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this. So um, I'll do a better example. So let's say I wanted to end up, like I wanted to start at zero and then end at, let's say, 10. Let's not do 10. Let's do um three. So I wanted to start at zero and end at three, right? So if I go to front view by clicking the button under the escape key, um, I can see that here, the line. Is there any way? Ugh. Not the actual mesh. Hold on, I just want the. I can't get rid of the grids. All right, there we go. So I got rid of the um, grids. I can actually see it. So this is my line, right? So over here is my endpoint, and over here is my start point right on the Z axis right now because we're working up and down, which is the Z axis, right? Up and down. Um, and I told it to um, end at three. So right now it started at zero meters and it's ending at three meters right but the resolution which is the um, length of each individual line let's say it's gonna be set at 3 nothing whoa not 3 2.9 what's it gonna go for 3.01 it should disappear there we go Oh, so it could be equal to three. Okay, so that doesn't make sense. So it's just three. What if it's um? Oh, it's because I had it as oh. Uh, whoops. Okay, let me fix this real quick. Um, I'll just delete everything. All right. So I might as well just bring out my tablet. Hold on. Give me one second. Let me connect my tablet. <sighs> I have a tablet and I'm not using it. Like, how dare I spend all that money for what? All right. Okay. So, let's hope Blender has that nice handwriting capability thing um, that accepts my handwriting. So, this is the end point. Um, this is the start point. Why does it write like it's writing in crayon? So the start point is zero and the end point is three. Um, right, so this is in the Z axis, right, up and down. So this is my line, right? So currently it has um, a resolution of three, meaning that the length of the line is three, right? But if I change the length of the line to be lower than that, then it's going to be lower than that. So this is what, 1.1 meters? So I guess what you could say is the line, like in essence, you can set it to have like an, a domain, like an interval where you could start and stop, but you can have the line actually stop or be anything in between um, that interval including the stop and including the start um does it include the start so if i set it equal to zero um yeah exactly um well no because zero would be right zero is a start but zero is actually the same thing as three interesting so i guess zero and three is the same Anyway, um, so what you're doing by setting a start location and end location is you're setting an interval in which it, it like can't go past. 
So if the resolution goes um If the resolution, if, wow, if the resolution goes anything above that endpoint, the line is going to disappear because it can't go like this is the interval. It can't go up like over that endpoint, but it can go lower. Like it can go anywhere in between the endpoints and the start point, right? Anywhere in between the endpoint and the start point. That's what that is. Like the start location, and the end location is an interval in which your um your line can be drawn in. I guess. Oh yeah. Oh, wow, you can think of it as a piece of paper, like horizontally, like a piece of paper, right? So this is, you know, the end point of your paper. This is your start point of the paper, and you can write in between the paper, right? But you can't exceed that, um, this edge here. You can't exceed that end point of the paper, right? Because then you're not writing on the paper anymore. So I guess it's the same thing, but you, you can go anywhere between the start of the paper and the end of the paper, but you can't exceed the paper, right? Because then it wouldn't be the paper anymore. So that makes sense, right? So at this point right now, we are up to here, right? Because we have a resolution of 1.1, or we can actually set it to 1. Oh, not 1. Sorry. 1 point... Why does it do that? Does it always have to be in decimal? 0 1.1. 1. 1. It's so weird, it doesn't take whole numbers. Okay, so 1.1, I guess that's fine. So right now we have a resolution of 1.1, right? So in the paper analogy, we can say, okay, well, right now we've written up to 1.1 meters of the paper, right? Which is good, right? We still haven't passed the, that end point, like that edge of the paper. So that's, I think, the idea of the mesh line given um, end point, um, end point mode. So this is endpoint mode um, um, concept all right um so this is for the x-axis right Why is this so ugly? Piece of paper, Resolution M point three start point zero resolution one point one, right? Is that how you spell peace? Am I going crazy? Peace. Oh, I knew it. I literally cannot spell to save my life. But I can't erase. Ugh. I'll just do another note. And make it a. Uh, you can barely see it. Whatever. All right. So yeah. So that's the idea. You have a piece of paper. You can think of like you have your start point of the paper, like your like the end, one end of the paper, and then or the starting of the paper and the end of the paper, and then you can't exceed that end of the paper but you can write from anywhere within those um borders right those edges so yeah this is the length of the edge or the length of the line of the paper right versus count count just tells you know the amount of vertices in the paper which is different from the length so yeah um i guess we figured that one out and if we change it to count then we can let me see if I do two. If I do one. What if I do one point five? No, 
Oh, 1.5. Oh, it rounds to 2. Interesting. Oh, right, because obviously thing, dots can't be like half. They have to be whole numbers or just great things. Um, and then 3. And then 5. Interesting. So what that does, though, it's still, there's still 5... There's like, you can think of it as like one, two, three, four, five dots when the count is set to five. Um, but then it's still going to end there. It's just going to continue to have more vertices. And then, yeah, so that's a difference between resolution and count. So like count, it's not going to change the it's going to literally draw the line from the start of the paper to the end of the paper in analogy wise but the line might have more vertices meaning technically you can think of it like in real life like in the analogy the line might be thicker or like more um like if you have a black pen it might be like a thicker black because there's more pigment or like more vertices right more color you can think of like as the dots or the vertices to be the color in the analogy so like there's more like color in the pen when you see it like versus if there's like a count of one vertice then it might be like very streaky right or like maybe yeah very stretchy while if there's more more vertices it might be more smoother um and more like um powerful like very like a black pen right like a good black pen right um so that would be the count versus the resolution is it's actually literally telling you when to stop writing on the line um yeah and so count always reaches the end point and just stops but then you could also have right as long as it's above as long as it's not one it's weird it disappears when it's one why because it's zero i'm looking at the position so when the Vertice is one, that means there's only one vertice as position zero zero. So maybe there is a vertice, I just can't see it. Huh. Whatever. Um But yeah, so I'm assuming that's the thing. That count is still gonna have it's gonna draw the line all the way to the end point, all the way to the end of the paper, but it might be it might have more vertices, more dots, right? More more pigment. I don't know. I don't at this point I'm I'm stretching to get an analogy. Um and then resolution would actually um act as if the edges of the paper are the borders of the paper and it'll just kind of tell you or you could use it to tell it where to actually stop before the end point but it doesn't um if i set it to resolution it actually includes the stop point but if i do anything like 3.01 it disappears anything above that which is crazy wow right so but if i keep it at three right which is the same thing as the end location of the vertex it's still going to be there so even then that's good and then if i have it as offset and I give it a count of five, it's not going to take into account any endpoint because we didn't give it an endpoint, and it's actually going to. Wow, that's actually very interesting. But the offset actually increases the distance between the vertices. So if I do zero. Ah, so that's the difference. Okay, because offset, Z on the offset basically works as the distance between the vertices. So right now there's three meters between each vertice. Well, if I were to do zero or one, there would be one meter between each vertice. And we currently have five vertices, but I'll leave it at three, right? And I'll go back to endpoints, just so I can take a screenshot of this. Um, 
but yeah, that's the idea. So let me go and just um, go to Blender, my thing here. I'm just going to duplicate this. At this point, I just duplicate things. I have no time to do this 5,000 times. Um, day 125. Did I say today was day 124? I don't even remember what I said. Um, today's a 12, so that means I did this wrong. Whoa, why do I have two June 10ths? I'm so confused. Wait, so June 9th, June 10th, June 11th. This was supposed to be the 11th. I guess I duplicated this one too. This one is the 12th, and today is day 125. Let me change the cover. Just remove the cover, remove the icon. Um, remove the blend. Um, I'm really proud of today. Today's a four star because I really uh, was experimenting. And yeah. Just delete that. Um, also delete this and just kind of paste in this. And then I'll go back and take a screenshot of what I have now. Copy this, go to back here, and just put that in there. All right, um, okay, just wanted to save those pictures. Um, anything else? Yeah, so that's the mesh line for you. Um, and if I have, so that's an endpoint mode. And then offset mode, right, is very simple, right? We went over that already. So we have the count, how many vertices we have, the start location of the first vertex, we do not have an end location. So depending on the offset, we can kind of control the length of the edge or the length of the line by increasing or decreasing the distance between each vertice. Um, and yeah, so I think that works so I feel like endpoint works better because at least you have an interval in which you don't want to go. I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's different uses for different things. That's why they have it, right? Um, but yeah, so that's that. All right, I think I'm going to end it for today. I can't believe I spent, like, how many minutes? Oh my god. It's been an hour. No way. <laughs> it's been an hour. It's been an hour? Yeah. And see, it's been an hour. It's 11. It's 11? Oh my god. Bro, I cannot believe I spent an hour talking about a line. <laughs> I can't breathe, bro. You need help with homework? Then should I say conclusion? Okay. I thought I could do co the conclusion, but I don't know where to start. Okay, I'll help you. Hold on. Let me just finish this. <laughs> I, I can't. This is too funny. I spent an hour talking. I thought I was here for like at least like 40 minutes, but an hour? Bro. <laughs> an hour? Like, think I about it, bro. <laughs> I, I have just... not been talking about a line for an hour, bro. That's insane. I didn't even realize. No, bro, this is insane. That's how's that possible, Hennessy? I mean, I watched you do it, so. That's crazy. I've just been here. Okay, like to you at most that. forty minutes, but like an hour. Okay, that's just, okay. First of all, first of all, it was interesting. Oh, it was updating. That's why it took so long to work this morning. Oh. It it was a black screen for two hours until now. Oh, uh, yeah. How, what percentage is it at? 40. 40%? It's been added? It's been added the whole day. No, it started right now. It was at 0% oh. a couple minutes ago. Well, no, not minutes. Seconds. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, I don't even know. Okay, bye. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs>